What is up, Karatix? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week, as well as the property and vehicle discounts. So in terms of changes for this week, the BF Weevil is now officially available for normal purchase from the Cyber San Andreas website. I'm not sure if the missions will still work to get it for free from English Dave, but I would assume that you can only get the trade price from now on for doing them. And there's no new drip feed vehicle today except for the BF Weevil, which we were able to get early from the DJ missions for the past two weeks. But anyways, this event week is for January 7th through January 13th, 2021. The current casino podium vehicle is the Enos Paragon R. This vehicle is primarily based on the 2018 Bentley Continental GT. It released about a year and a half ago with a casino DLC update. It normally costs about $900,000. The Paragon is in the sports car class and is a very fun car to drive with surprisingly very good handling and acceleration as well. The customization is also very good. Obviously, it's not on pariah levels of top speed or acceleration, but it's still a very quick car for what it is. Also, keep in mind that you can get the armored version of the Paragon R for free by doing the casino penthouse missions as usual. However, in order to get the regular Paragon R, you either have to buy it, or you can obviously attempt to win it from the podium this week. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the Paragon R and are angry about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for roughly $700,000 depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So is the Paragon R worth attempting to win by spinning a lucky wheel over and over this week? Honestly, I'd say yes. In terms of customization and driving experience, it's a very good car and something everyone should experience in GTA in my opinion if they like Bentleys or nice sports cars in general. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 30% off the hangers as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. If you don't have a hanger yet, I highly recommend purchasing one. In terms of upgrades, I only recommend the living quarters so you can spawn in there if you choose, as well as the workshop upgrade. The other upgrades are mainly just styling upgrades which really aren't needed. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the Cyclone. Now this car is in the supercar class, and it's the fastest accelerating car in the class, obviously because it's electric. Now as with most electric cars, its top speed is not very good, and its handling is very poor as well. But it's still a great car to use for certain races with constant hairpin turns. Next up, we have 40% off the Vigeon. Now this car is in a supercar class as well, and is an absolutely gorgeous car in terms of styling in my opinion. However, in terms of performance, it's not very good, and it's even slower around most tracks than is in Torno, which is pretty funny. Moving on to the War Stock website, we have 25% off the new Alkanos. This is the biggest purchasable jet in the entire game, and is a ton of fun to mess around with with friends. It has the ability to drop bombs, and has an off-the-radar stealth function once you reach a certain altitude. But other than that, there's really not much else to it. Even at the cheapest discounted trade price of about 2.5 million, I still feel it's too much money for what it is. Also keep in mind that you need to own a hangar in order to buy it. Next up, we have 25% off the Stealth Annihilator. This helicopter has the stealth function similar to the Akula. This is one I actually recommend buying as it's a pretty good stealth attack helicopter in general. Also keep in mind that this one also requires you to own the hangar as well in order to buy it. Next up we have 40% off the Valkyrie, very old helicopter from the original Heist update, but still very cool, the guns on the side are pretty powerful, but in general it's not that great of a helicopter, obviously the newer ones are a lot better, and even at this price I still feel it's too expensive for what it is. Moving on to the Elitist Travels website, we have 40% off the Havoc, quite random of a discount, but anyways, this is the smallest helicopter in the game, and it's a ton of fun to fly, and quite difficult to land as well, as it likes to tip over if you're not careful. A very fun little helicopter to mess around with for sure, but even at this price, I still feel it's too expensive for what it is. And that's it for vehicle discounts, not too many discounts for this week, but at least we're starting to get some of the Kyle Perico DLC vehicles on discount, which is awesome. In terms of login items, you can get this Guffy double logo hat for free, just for logging in this week, which is pretty cool. You can also unlock the Bigness Faces sweater for free this week by stealing any loot or secondary targets during the Kyle Perico heist, again for this week. So obviously I haven't done that yet, so I can't show the sweater. 
In terms of triple money, we have triple money NRP on the Motor Wars Adversary mode and the Aircraft Races as well, which is quite random. As far as double money, we have double money NRP on the Air Freight Cargo Hangar business. This is one of the worst businesses to make money with, but during double money, it makes it a little more worth it. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only. I'll leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we are 35% off the Kurtz Patrol boat. This boat came out with the Galbadico update and is a very slow <laughs> weaponized boat that's a Pegasus vehicle with no customization. Even with this discount, I still feel it's way overpriced. But if you've been wanting to get one, I guess now's the best time. Moving along, we have 35% off the new Longfin Speedboat. This is the new fastest boat in the game by a lot. It's insanely fast. If you didn't see my video where I compared its speed to supercars, it's faster than any supercar in a drag race, which is just crazy. I highly recommend purchasing this one if you want to have the fastest boat in the game. Next up, according to Test Funds 2 on Twitter, we have 25% off the weaponized dinghy, but that boat hasn't released yet as you can see, so I assume that Prime Gaming discount is for next week when it will most likely release. And lastly for Prime Gaming, you can get the Sonar Station upgrade for the new Kasaka Submarine for free. This upgrade normally costs 1.2 million, and getting it for free is pretty awesome. Also don't forget that just for logging in this week as a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $200,000 which is pretty cool. Again guys, if you don't save a discount on the patrol boat or the long fin, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have of course the Arsene Bandito Time Trial Cypress Flats. This week's normal time trial is Casino. I highly recommend Ireli Shotaro, Hakachu Drag, Batty801, Emerus, Krieger, or an F1 car for that time trial. And this week's premium race is the muscle car race, Muscle In. I highly recommend either the Pizwazer Dominator, the Yosemite, or the Vapid Click for this race. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. This event week is pretty decent in terms of overall discounts as we're starting to get some of the new Guy Eco vehicles on discount, which is really nice, with both regular discounts and with Prime Gaming. In terms of triple and double money, <laughs> it's kind of average for this week, not really too great. I think we're definitely moving in the right direction as they gave us a business on double money. Um, hopefully next week we get something better on double money, like Bunker or CEO Crates, or maybe even the, they might give us the new Golden Panther statue to be able to steal from the Galapagos Eagle Islands. That'd be really nice if they finally activate that, but I guess we'll see next week to see what happens. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.